I thank the gentleman for yielding. Before I begin, I want to thank both sides. I want to thank the chairman. I want to thank the ranking member. Not for what the bill is on the floor today, but for the bill that you put out of committee. When we look in the country, we see division. Very seldom can we ever find a bill that gets every Democrat and every Republican support. But that's what we, that's what we look for, that committees can work together. The whole reason the design of committees before they come to the floor, this is where the expertise is. This is where it's happened. This is where you combine it together. But now I want to apologize to the chairman. I don't know what your leadership did or why. But why would they change the moment that we have for the country to see something that they haven't seen in a while? Why would they do something that a chairman and a ranking member and every member on that committee, regardless of where they come through across this country, regardless of party, agreed to? Special interest has power. Special interest is more powerful than the members who are in that committee with the expertise. Special interest is more powerful than members of Congress finding common ground. Special interest is more powerful with the leadership on the other side. They should not treat their members this way. They should not treat America this way. So let's talk about this bill. Because what it really goes to is how powerful is this special interest and who are they hurting? Many parents choose to use a 529 savings accounts to help them save money for their children's education. We all agree on each side of the aisle the most important thing that happens when you have that child is the opportunity that they will have. It's no longer about what you will become, it's what your children's opportunities will be. We all agree that education is the great equalizer. It doesn't matter where you grow up or what side of the street you live on, but education will give everybody that opportunity. And I will tell you, as a Republican leader, when I watched this committee work, I was proud. I was proud of both sides. I was proud that they were able to come together. And you know where they came together on? 529 accounts. These plans allow them to invest in a tax-free account, occur interest, and spend it on education expenses like tuition. For many years, these accounts only applied to college-related expenses. But today, thanks to the Republican-led tax reform law in 2017, families can now use those funds to pay through K-12 through costs, too. Because why would we want to hurt somebody? Maybe they were in a bad school district or others. We want everybody in America to have that opportunity. That was a big win for all families. Republican, Democrat, Green Party, didn't matter. But under current law, 529 savings accounts cannot be used for K-12 through books costs, tutoring expenses, you know, when your kids fall behind, you want them to be able to catch up, fees for college admission exams, Anybody that has a child at that age, you know how much you spend just on all the exams. Or to pay for education therapy for students with disabilities. Wouldn't everybody want to help that child with disabilities? I believe so. And you know what? The action of the committee proved that. Every Democrat in your committee, Mr. Chairman, said that. And every member on the Republican side said that. I was proud of that. But unfortunately, special interest has more power. This is why, to me, I have real concerns on this bill. The official bill report was fantastic, what came out of committee. But when it got to the Democrat leadership, I guess they had different plans. Now, I shouldn't be shocked because I was sitting in this well last week with the same dilemma. That another committee, Energy and Commerce, dealing with a really important issue, much like what you were dealing with today, prescription drugs. And you know what happened? It happened again, that both sides agree, how can we make prescription drugs lower and give America more options? And they all voted for it. But it went right through that leadership, Madam Speaker, on the other side. And special interests won again. They put a poison pill in, so that will never become law. 
because special interests pressured this leadership to change this bill? It says something. To me, it says three things very clearly. Madam Speaker, it seems to me the Democratic leadership, and this is not the same Democratic leadership that I knew in the past. There's some people on the other side of the aisle, they call them socialist Democrats. It seems to me they want institutions, not individuals, to be focused on education funding. They want partisan interests, not parents, to decide how children learn. And they want the federal government, not families, to have control over their money. But that's not what the American people want. The American people want exactly what happened in that committee. Exactly the power that brought all the Republicans and all the Democrats together. They don't want special interests to continue to run this House. The committee proved they could stand up. And who'd they stand up for? Those who need it the most. The parents with children with disabilities level the playing field so every child has an opportunity when it comes to education. Of all the issues that could divide us, Madam Speaker, I don't understand why the leadership did that to the Ways and Means Committee. I don't think that's right for the work that the chairman put in and the ranking member. We deserve better. We displayed that we could be better. But unfortunately, special interest won over the parents. And that's wrong.